Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Grade 5 Mathematics class. I hope you finished all the activities that we mentioned in the previous class. Today, let's talk about rounding off numbers. What do you mean by rounding off? Suppose someone is asking you, how many people are living in your village? What will you say to them? You'll say there are about or around 5,000 people or 10,000 people and so on. You will tell them an approximate number or rounded off number. It's not the actual number, but it will be closer to the actual number. This is called rounding of numbers. So rounding of a number will make it simpler and easier to use in calculations. There are a few rules that we have to follow while we are rounding of numbers. Let's go through those rules today. So the first step to round off a number is to find the rounding digit. If you are going to round it off to the nearest 10, you're actually changing it to the nearest multiple of 10. In that case, the rounding digit will be the tens digit. That is the digit in the tens place. If you are rounding it off to the nearest 100, the rounded digit will be the hundreds digit. And if it is to the nearest 1000, the rounded digit will be the thousands digit and so on. Now, the next step is to check the digit to the right of the rounding digit. If this digit is less than 5, that is if it is either 0, 1, 2, 3 or 4, we have to keep the rounded digit as it is and change all the digits to the right of the rounded digit to zeros. Let's see one example now. Look at this number 43,56,531. You have to round this number to the nearest 10. So I have written the number here in a place value chart. So since we are rounding it to the nearest 10, the rounding digit is the tens digit, that is 3. So we have to check the digit to the right of it, which is the ones digit. It is 1 here, which is less than 5. So let's keep the rounded digit as it is and change the digit right of it to 0. So this part, it will become like this. So the answer will be 43,56,530. Now, if the digit to the right of the rounding digit is 5 or more than 5, that is if it is either 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9, in that case, we will add 1 to the rounding digit and change all the digits to the right of it to zeros. Let's see one example here. Round 36,31,568 to the nearest 100 and 1000. So let's round this off to the nearest 100 first. So here the rounding digit is the 100's digit which is 5. The digit to the right of it is the 10's digit which is 6. If it is 5 or more than 5, what do we do? We add 1 to the rounding digit. So let's add 1 here. Then change all the digits to the right of it to zeros. So these two digits will become zero. So here it will become 600. So this number rounded off to the nearest hundred is 36,31,600. Now let's round it off to the nearest thousand. Here the rounded digit is the thousands digit which is one. Digit to the right of it is the hundred digit which is five. If it is 5 or more than 5, we add 1 to the rounded digit and change all the digits to the right of it to zeros. So this part here it will, it will become 1 plus 1, 2 and here on it will be zeros. So this number rounded off to the nearest 1000 will be 36 lakh 32,000. That's it. Now. Now all of you please go through the topic rounding of numbers in your textbook. Then please do all the questions in exercise 1.4. I hope you finished doing the exercise. Now let's discuss the answers. So the first question is, Mr. Sinha bought a house for rupees 78,45,321. Round off the cost of the house to the nearest 100. So the number here is 78,45,321. So, to round it off to nearest 100, let's find the rounded digit first. It is the 100th digit which is 3 here and to the right of it we have 2 
which is less than 5. So let's keep the rounded digit as it is and change all the digits to the right of it to zeros. So that will give you the answer 78,45,300. I hope your answer is correct. Now let's move on to the next question. Suppose 12,57,821 scientists work in the research labs of India. Round off these numbers to the nearest 10, 100 and 1000. So this is the number given here. Let's round it off to the nearest 10 first. So here to round it off to the nearest 10, the rounded digit is 2. The digit to the right is 1 which is less than 5. So let's keep the rounded digit as it is and change the digit to the right of it to 0 which will give you the answer 12,57,820. Now let's round it off to the nearest 100. The rounded digit is 8. To the right of it we have 2 which is less than 5. So let's keep this 8 as 8 itself and these two will be changed to zeros. So the answer is 12,57,800. Now to, to round off to the nearest 1000. The rounded digit is the 7 which is the thousands digit. To the right of it we have 8 which is more than 5. So we have to add 1 to the rounded digit and change all the other digits to 0 which will give you the answer 12,58,000. Hope your answers are correct. Now the next question. Complete the table by rounding off the numbers to the nearest 10, 100 and 1000. After rounding off the answers will be for question A to the nearest 10 it is 88,84,630 or 630. To the nearest 100 the answer will be 88,84,600. To the nearest 1000 88,85,000. For question B the answers are 67,12,640. 67,12,600 and 67,13,000. For question C, the answers are 23,65,760, 23,65,800 and 23,66,000. For question D, the answers are 9 crore, 99,99,750, 9 crore 99 lakhs 99,700 and it's 10 crores. For question E the answers are 5 crore 33 lakh 670, 5 crore 33 lakh 700 and 5 crore 33 lakhs 1000. I hope all your answers are correct. As an activity for the day all of you please look into page number 9 of your textbook you can see the heading try this you have to note down the question as well as answer in your notebook also in page number 10 you can see these two questions answer those questions also once you finish them please do send us a picture and today we discussed about rounding of numbers i hope the concept is clear to you so that's all for today we will meet in the next class until then bye